In this video, we are going to look at how to view the log file of Chutubox. Log file is very helpful in that it shows the working status of the software and can play an important role in solving some software issues. To find your log file, click main menu and select help open log path. Then a window will appear showing the folder that contains your log file. In that folder, the chutubox.log file is the log file we want to look for. In addition to this file, you will also see other configuration files including the software machine config files, autosave temp files, cache, and so on. When you experience some software issues, removing the files in your log path is an effective way to help you solve the problem. It can help you solve issues like the platform is missing, some slicing or support settings are missing from the interface. You can add supports for your model. When you manually add the support, it isn't added to the right place. The slicing process gets stuck or causes the program to crash. Error caused by authorization failure. To remove files in the log path to solve this problem, first open the log path as mentioned earlier. When the folder pops up, Close your Chutubox software. Then there are three ways you can choose to remove files. First, you can remove the Chutubox.log file only. Second, you can only remove the global.cfg global configuration file. This file contains some software global settings, like setting the software functions, appearance, and display. Note that removing this file may reset all these settings to default so you may need to save a backup copy of this file somewhere else before you delete it. The last option is to delete the machine info and user login configuration files. This will also reset some software settings, so you may also need to make a backup before you delete them. Once the delete process is finished, launch your Chutubox software again and see if your problem has been solved. 